Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, so we're going to start out with uh, at least one political video. If it's starting to go long, I'll probably split it up. Uh, but obviously, I want to talk about the uh, debate, so let's kind of talk about it. Um, in general, um, it didn't go as well for Trump as the uh, Biden debate did. Uh, obviously, the Biden debate, he, he handled rather easily, um, and he really didn't have the same composure that he did during the Biden debate. With that said, though, he still won the debate, especially when you take into consideration that it was basically, um, you know, the moderators putting up more of a fight than Harris was. Um, you know, the moderators were debating him and fact-checking him with their notes, you know, fact checking them we'll, we'll get to that uh with their notes um harris apparently didn't have any notes uh you know it didn't seem like she had any notes although she did request for there to be uh for her to be able to have notes during the debate um but it was turned down and it didn't look like she had any this time unlike kind of during the interview where it looked like maybe at certain times she was looking down into her lap <laughs> But anyways, so, you know, Harris didn't do so great during this debate. She has no policies. She has no um, successful track record to point to. And so she doesn't do very well. All she can really do is try to make Donald Trump look bad. She can try to, um, you know, make him act out. Um, it seemed like she was the one who was more acting out this time, though, talking, trying to talk over him, um, trying to stare him down, tr making faces, um, all of which really didn't look good. But the majority of things that people are talking about in the aftermath are the fact checks. So honestly, it just really was Donald Trump versus the moderators more than him versus Harris. But either way, he came away with the win. Um, so let's kind of talk about some of that fact-checking just a little bit. Um, here's some things that I found, and, uh, and I do kind of want to touch on them. Um, and so this isn't mine, obviously, but, uh, but the thing is, is, you know, there's, there's some stuff in here that I can't, you know, I've thought of, obviously, but I'm pulling this from somebody else. Basically, um, they were only fact-checking Trump. They refused to do any fact-checking of Harris, which isn't surprising because ABC News apparently has um, only given 100% positive coverage of Kamala Harris since she has been um, named the uh, nominee uh, for the Democrat Party. They've done 100% positive, um, and uh, for Trump, I think it was negative like 60 or 70% negative coverage. Uh, so it's not surprising at all when you have a quote-unquote news organization like that moderating the debate, that they would only fact-check one side. And they specifically only fact-check one side. They only had notes to fact-check one side, um, even though there were obvious lies coming from Kamala Harris that could have easily been fact-checked in a very unbiased, unpartisan way. They could have said, look, that's just not true. Um, and they could have fact-checked her just like they tried to fact-check him. So let's kind of talk about some of that. Let's see here. Um, the mandatory firearms buybacks. Um, Kamala Harris told Trump to stop lying about her wanting to confiscate firearms. Harris has previously stated multiple times that she wants to launch a mandatory buyback program. A mandatory buyback program is a confiscation. It's gun confiscation. If they're making it mandatory, then it's not, you know, a voluntary buyback, which I also don't support, obviously. Um, you know, I don't support buybacks in general. And, uh, and you know, people should be allowed to to keep their weapons, keep their guns. Um, but uh, she is uh, she has stated that she supports a mandatory buyback, and that is gun confiscation. So she lied, right? And she didn't get fact-checked on that. All right, next one. Uh, the fine people hoax. This one was obvious, you know? It's like, how are you still trying to say this? Um, even Snopes has fact-checked this as not accurate. Um, but ABC News couldn't? Huh. You knew she was going to say it. Why didn't you have notes on this? Anyways. Whoop. My dog's tail. <laughs> All right. 
So the uh, fact, the, what she said was, Kamala Harris claimed that Trump called neo-Nazis very fine people. This hoax was debunked by Snopes, but the ABC moderators let it slide. So it's it's been shown over and over again that she, he did not call neo-Nazis very fine people. Um, and that it, one, it's taken out of context, and two, he actually specifically says that the uh, he condemns the neo-Nazis, the white supremacists, completely. So to keep repeating this lie and to have no one call her out for it um, other than Trump himself uh, obviously shows the bias of the moderators. They they only had an intention of fact-checking um, Trump and had no intention of fact-checking Harris even though everybody knew this was coming and everybody knows it's an out and out outright lie. Okay. Okay, post-birth abortion. This one's a little, one of the controversial ones which we'll talk about because it's, it's not just outright f true or false. Uh, but let's take a look at it. Trump claimed that babies were killed outside the womb in failed abortions. Under Tim Walls, the VP nominee Tim Walls as governor, babies born alive in botched abortions are allowed to be left to die. Eight babies who survived abortions in Minnesota were abandoned and sadly perished under walls. The ABC moderators simply said Trump was lying and moved out without adding any context. Um, so they're just, they were wrong. They were just outright wrong. Um, you know, you can't, um, you can't kill a baby, apparently, you know, that, and that's, you know, maybe the context that they were trying to go for. Um, but you can leave them to die, um, and that is Walls's law, and that's what was happening under Walls's um, watch in Minnesota. Uh, and not only that, but like we have also the gov ex governor of uh, Virginia saying something very similar. So this is not something that's happening in just one state. This is happening in more than one state. It's something that happens. The Dems are unwilling to condemn this practice, um, and uh, but they are willing to quote unquote fact check Trump when he says something uh, that they disagree with the wording on without adding the full context of what he was saying, um, which is that it was, uh, you know, they are allowed to die. All right. Defund the police. Kamala Harris laughed when Trump said that she wanted to defund the police. During a previous interview, Harris said having more cops on the street is wrong. She also supporting taking police officers out of schools. Um, you know, she has supported the, uh, um, you know, supported the rioters in BLM. Uh, she encouraged them to continue rioting, to continue burning and looting and those sorts of things. She um, has stated, or she actually helped fundraise uh, to help bail people out of jail for these sorts of activities. And uh, and she was definitely defund the police. She supported that. That's 100% true. Uh, but, of course, you know, no one called her on that um, for trying to pretend that she was not. Another one, uh, the bloodbath hoax. Kamala Harris claimed Trump said there would be a bloodbath if he is not elected, insinuating that his supporters would start killing people. This is completely false. The comment was made during a rally where Trump said that there, were, there would be a bloodbath for the American auto industry if he is not elected um, due to uh, tariffs and, you know, uh, allowing um, cheaper uh, cars to come in from say China, that sort of thing. So he was talking about it in the financial context, which it is well documented that, that is, it is used in that context. That's how he was using it. He never said that his supporters or anybody else would start killing people if, uh, if he was not elected. And, you know, to try to pretend that he said this otherwise or to say that he's going to be a dictator on day one. That's a lie. He didn't say that. He didn't say he was going to be a dictator on day one. He said that other than on day one when he starts signing like executive orders, um, which, you know, often gets called a dictator. So jokingly, um, he, he would not be a dictator. So these people, they make stuff up. They take things out of context and they pretend that they can just go ahead and 
convince people that he's this thing that he isn't. He was in office for four years, didn't do any of this stuff, didn't do none of the things that Biden has done since he's been in office as far as attacking his opponents and, you know, putting people in jail and those sorts of things. Um, you know, so no, he's not the dictator. If anybody, it's Biden, but even Biden's not a dictator. He's going to go off into the sunset here in the near future. I would imagine after he pardons uh, Hunter Biden, um, we may get a, uh, uh, you know, Harris being escalated to president until the end of the term. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. Was that the last one on this list? Okay, so other than this other person's thing, here's what I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit. The silly um, it, thing involving the animals, the cat memes and those sorts of things. So Donald Trump had said that there's reports of um, cats and dogs and other pets being you know, abducted, possibly eaten, killed, eaten. Um, that geese from the park have been, you know, killed and eaten or taken. Um, these things are, um, you know, what he called reports. He didn't say that 100% factually it's happening. He's saying these are the things we need to try to prevent by preventing illegal immigration, right? Um, and they fact-checked him on it. And then they tried to say that the fact check was because someone in the, uh, in the city manager's office maybe the city manager themselves, I can't quite remember, but someone in the city manager's office said there were no reports of this happening. Zero reports. So trying to say, well, you're wrong, factually, absolutely wrong, because there's not even been any reports. Well, this has already been shown to be false. Um, there have been uh, firsthand accounts. They're coming out, tons of them. There's interviews with people giving firsthand accounts, firsthand reports of these types of things happening. Um, there was a uh, phone call to the uh, non-emergency 911 line um, where they were reporting that people were taking um, um, geese from the park that they had killed, um, which is a actual felony. It's an actual crime to take the geese from the park to kill them and take them. Um, there is a there's police reports of pets being taken. There's police reports of um, a pig head being found in the park. Uh, there's all these things and they're all reports. Now, mind you, these that doesn't make it fact, right? But that's not what he said. He said there were reports of these things happening and they tried to tell him no, absolutely zero reports of these types of things happening. That's 100% not true. It's been shown to be not true. ABC just was flat out wrong and they probably knew it and they don't care. They just, they're gonna fact check it. They think that that's going to help them, you know, get Harris elected. It's not, by the way, um, that, you know, everybody knows that they aren't moderators, that they aren't news, that they are biased, and that he was debating all of them. Um, and so it's not, a, you know, it's not going to help Harris win this election. All right. So other than that, how do you guys feel that he did? Um, you know, I'm hoping. I, I was originally going to say that we know that, you uh, um, that she knows she lost because she's going to refuse to debate again. But apparently she's the one calling for another debate, which is interesting. There's two possibilities. One, she does feel she lost and she wants a second go at it. She thinks she can do better. Or, or she thinks she won and she thinks this is going to help her and that she's going to do even better in the second one. That's what I think. You know, I think she honestly thinks she won because the uh, moderators uh, gave her that confidence especially like at the very beginning of the debate she didn't sound confident she actually legitimately sounded drunk um almost sounded like she was sobering up <laughs> during the first part of the debate um but you know it could have just been nerves um but yeah she started getting less nervous the moderators were basically like you know playing patty cake with her and like helping her along and they weren't doubling down on questions with her like they were doing with Trump and they absolutely didn't fact check her like they did with Trump and she realized that this was you know she should have known from the beginning she was still nervous but it was actually home field advantage obviously AB News is not going to do a fair debate and as she started really kind of feeling more confident in that she started getting better throughout the night but she was doing the whole talking over Trump making snide faces at him, shaking her head, 
um, doing all the things that uh, you would think that Trump would do. Uh, nope, that was all Harris. She lost that debate. She thinks she did well. She thinks she's going to do even better in the next one. Let's give them another debate. Anywhere but ABC, obviously. Um, she's going to be too cowardly to do that on Fox News. But Fox News, um, she already ducked out of the Fox News debate. They had to turn it into a town hall instead of a uh, debate. So we'll see. Maybe it'll be since the CNN debate was already done with Biden. And, you know, people don't trust CNN to, uh, you know, to, you know, try to hand the victory to Harris like ABC, but maybe NBC or or maybe something different, you know, we shall see. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens if there's a second debate. I think, uh, I think that's a really bad idea for her, but I'm hoping that it happens. All right, everybody, let me know what you think, and we'll call this one a video. Take care, everybody. Have a good day.